Thousands of children called on adults to get real about climate change in mass protests around the country today. Students from secondary schools, primary schools and even early childhood centres skipped classes for the second school strike for climate. They say the world is in the midst of an emergency and the government needs to do a lot more to help limit the extent of global warming. Here's our education correspondent John Gerritsen with camera operators Dom Thomas, Simon Rogers and Dan Cook. Children as young as four gathered in the capital today determined to have their voices heard. Eight-year-old Zoe Karu from Belmont Primary School in Lower Hutt has a clear view of the problem. If, if we still have um, petrol cars then because the pollution goes up and makes um, the blanket um, um, more... Um, thicker and that means it's more um, warmer and then and there's the seeds riding, rising because um, the, the ice is melting. Emily Barr from St Orans College says she and her friends want urgent action on climate change. We just all think that climate change is just such a big thing to take notice for since if we don't act now it will be irreversible and you know the planet is dying so we need to act fast. In Christchurch, more than 200 students and parents gathered in Hagley Park. Dozens of pupils from Christchurch Girls High School were out in force, including Year 13 student Mila Batten, who says she's sick of governments putting big business ahead of the environment. The government is, should be protecting the interests of its people as a whole, and when there are governments who are placing the needs of a few rich CEOs and their businesses over the welfare of our entire planet um, and every inhabitant in it, it's a little bit ridiculous. The first climate strike in March was cut short by news of the mosque attacks and a Muslim community advocate was among the first to speak in Christchurch. Zara Husseini says she was impressed by the big turnout and hopes world leaders listen to their message. She says the environment is emphasised in her religion and people in the Muslim community know how important it is to New Zealand youth. I'm sure they're actually, you know, very happy that this is happening because everyone is concerned about what's happening in the environment and and we are we are with you in this. We are, you know, we're all one. <laughs> in Nelson, hundreds of students joined the protest. They gathered on the church steps before chanting their way down Trafalgar Street, earning praise and applause from onlookers. 14-year-old Holly Druce from Motueka High School says she skipped school to be there. I don't feel I should be at school when this sort of thing's happening and we could all be dead within the next 10 years or so. Ruby Vigin, a Year 12 student from Nayland College, says the school's principal and teachers encouraged students to take part in what they said was a strike for their future. She says while the climate crisis might not seem as urgent to New Zealanders, we have a responsibility to act for the sake of others who are already suffering from the effects. Sea levels are already rising, people are losing their houses, the pollution and the air quality is just unlivable. And so it's important for us, because we are able and we're privileged enough to have a government that listens to us, to spread our message for them and for us. In Auckland, about a thousand fired up students shut down entire blocks of Queen Street, lying down together as a symbolic message to adults to wake up. Western Springs College student Luke Weejohn was one of the organisers. I'm here and I think every kid is here because we're scared. We look into the future and we can see the reports coming out of the UN and we know it's not good enough. We're not going to have a future if we don't do more for climate change. Luke Weejohn says adults have been asleep at the wheel for 30 years, having known about climate change and done little to stop its destruction. I think if you go to any school and ask kids what is the most important thing to them, what issue do they think is clouding their minds the most, I'd say climate change. And that's why we've got kids who are risking detentions, risking losing credits, risking threats of uh, suspensions to come here to send that message that this is the most important thing to them and they want their country to do more. Four pupils from Westlake Girls High School said they had no qualms with leaving school for the day and said their school allowed them to without consequence. We feel like it's, it's at this point it's more important to be here fighting for climate change against it, sorry, um, than it is to receive an education that might not even be useful in the future if there is no future. They said they were proud that young people are so passionate about driving for change. I think that our generation as a whole um, 
feels the urgency of it a lot more than perhaps other generations and feels that it's something that that's now our responsibility um, and especially following obviously the Zero Carbon Act just in past and it's not enough and I feel like we all feel that it's our responsibility to make sure that there is stuff done because it needs to happen. The Wellington protest marched through the city, blocking cars and briefly carbon emissions from Lambton Quay. At Parliament, student leaders urged MPs to declare a climate emergency and move the Zero Carbon Bill's goal of net zero carbon emissions from 2050 to 2040. Wake up New Zealand, you are drowning, you are suffocating and you are running out of time. And some MPs are listening. Chloe Swarbrick from the Green Party told the protest it has drafted a climate emergency declaration to put to the other parties in Parliament. But the Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern, who declared climate change was her generation's nuclear-free moment, indicated the government won't be changing its zero-carbon bill. She says it's based on the best estimates for keeping global warming to one and a half degrees. Mo te hotaka o te ahi ahi, ko John Gerritsen a hau.